In this part of video, I will be discussing a short history of microwave engineering. So, previously, I have already known what are the different applications, what are the different frequency bands and all. So in this video, we will see what is the basic history of a microwave engineering and when it, how it started and how it went on and we are now at uh, what position. Okay. So, modern electromagnetic theory was formulated in what? In 1873. So, it is almost 200 years old by James Clark Maxwell okay, and solely from the mathematical consideration. Okay, so, the electromagnetic theory, so previously there was Gauss law, Coulomb's law, Ampere's law, everything was there, but they are separated. What Maxwell did? He combined the equations and you know famous four Maxwell's equations. So, theoretically he gave that Maxwell equation based on that mathematical expressions, there can be a wave which can propagate. Okay. So, the Maxwell's formulation was cast in modern form by Oliver Heaviside during the period of 1885 to 1887. He started experimenting on that. Then, Henrich Hertz, by whose name the frequency is there, a German professor of physics understood the theory published by Maxwell. So, in 1873, the theory was published and then he did the experiments in 1887 to 1890. In this span, he did the experiments after almost four years. Okay. And that completely validated the Maxwell theory. So, whatever Maxwell has predicted mathematically by the four equations, those were validated by Hertz in, uh, in around 1887 to 1890 and it validated four Maxwell equations are correct. Okay. Then it come to the, like this development was happening. So, al almost after like uh, 5, uh, 6, uh, sorry, 50, 60 years, in 1940s when the Walder 2 happened. So, that actually triggered the development of microwave. So, there microwave theory receives substantial interest because radios, communications, all those th radars are developed in that time in Walder 2. So, communication system using microwave technology began to develop soon after the birth of the radar. So, here the radar came into picture after that communication technology came. Communication, communication technology came after the radar technology. Radar is what? One wave is there, it goes somewhere, is reflected back, then it, it detects it, that's it. Communication is like the wave is not going to reflect, a wave is there, another device will receive the wave, decode it, then again it uh, sends some signal. So, there is a complex system which was not done in, uh, until the 1940s. Okay. Now, the advantages offered by microwave system, wide bandwidth and line of sight propagation, provides an interrupt continuing development of low cost miniature microwave components. So, when this come into the advantage like low cost microwave miniature microwave components, that means small size components can be done. Then the research also went interesting there and so many researchers worked on this. So, because of the reliable microwave sources, the problem is microwave sources, how to generate that much of frequency, 3 gigas, 30 gigas like this. So, due to lack of reliable microwave sources and other components, the rapid growth of radio technology in at least 1900 occur primarily to higher frequency to very high frequency, you know the range. So, only up to this frequency the development happened in 1900. But you can see in 1940 the development was already run and radar came into picture, but in 1900 it was up to only high frequency and very high frequency, not into gigahertz. <laughs> Okay, so, 3, 3 to 30 megahertz and 30 to 300 megahertz, not even to gigahertz. So, it was until 1940s, the advent of the radar developing in the microwave theory, the technology receives substantial interest. Okay, so, the modern wireless telephony is based on the concept of cellular frequency reuse and a technique first proposed by Bell Laboratory, Graham Bell, okay, in 1947, but not practically implemented in 1970. So, now, uh, basically, up to 1970, the uh, microwave uh, engineering was not properly developed, or uh, we can say, okay, 1970 is the year when it was properly developed. Okay. Now, if I go to a short history, so this is the experiment. Okay. So original apparatus used by Hertz for the electromagnetic experiment. So see, uh, in this picture, almost. Okay. So in this picture. Uh, 33, 34, 35. So, 35 elements are there. Each are or each are the different, different equipments. Okay. Let us see what is uh, this one. So, 20, uh, okay, see this one, 12. So, what is 12? 
so 12 number 10 to 12 number it demonstrate the dielectric polarization effects okay so like this all these equipments have been named and this is the only photograph available uh, to read about the microwave history how the uh, experiment was started in 1940s and then in 1970s is gained some access and all okay and uh, this was photographed on when october 1 1913 and the world war happened in 1940 so before to that the experiment setup was there in 1940 some uh, good products came then in 1970 it becomes so popular okay before that it was not so popular people are not adopt adopting that also so that's it from the uh, history of microwave engineering okay in the we'll end this video here and in the next video we'll be discussing about some of the uh, applications means some of the microwave devices like rfid and other some other device and gps also okay so in next video we'll be dis discussing about these two in this video we'll stop here thank you